Okay. So it's August 14, Sunday. Okay. Um, I've been feeling weak yesterday. And you know, ano na, itchy throat. But I tested yesterday morning and evening and I was negative. But, mm, I tested this morning and both on Clungent and Abbott and Boom. Boom. So, inabot din po ako. Uh, I don't think I have, have ever really had COVID. I mean, there was one suspected that was COVID. It turned out negative sa so, uh, RT-PCR. So, I think this is the real first time that I have COVID. So, um, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, video this journey of mine. Please. Ang alam ko, marami po talagang may sakit ngayon. Let's pray for each other. Let's do that right now. Lord God, um, I want to lift up to you my brothers and sisters who have the same uh, sickness as mine, which is COVID. We ask you, dear Lord, by the wounds of your Son, Jesus Christ, we claim uh, victory over COVID. Heal our bodies, dear Lord. At the same time, give us this time to uh, commune with you to talk to you this is probably our time to really spend time again with you dear lord and but at the same time we ask you to to heal us and that the medicines that were prescribed for us by our doctor will heal us we praise you we love you in jesus name amen so today is day one god bless guys Alright, so I took my meds already. Um, Molnupiravir and antibiotics. I don't really have a headache or fever, so I'm actually. Di ko lang parang congested dito. No cold, but minsan pa ubo ubo ako. So to soothe me, simply lalagay tayo ng Vicks eucalyptus. Mental oil due to satin chest. Alright, so it really, really helps me get soothed by the effect of Ixian. Not your nose and chest. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get some rest. Ah, okay, it's um, almost 5 o'clock. Um, what am I feeling? Just weak. <laughs> Um, lalaman na kung sipon yung ubo ko o hindi naman madalas. Minsan ang ubo, but it's very dry. It feels like you have a fever, but I don't really have a fever. My temperature is still 30, 36.5. <coughs> Yun! Ganun yung cuff ko dry. Now, um, nagutom ako sa paluto ako ng... Tinola. I like suggest kasi a friend ko. Thank God, okay pa yung palasa ko. So, kain muna tayo. Hi! Good morning. It's day two of my COVID. Now, um, I'm drinking wheatgrass. I usually drink wheatgrass. It's every morning, so... Hindi dapat mong wala yung tradition. As you can hear, I'm more blocked now. Sa nose, I can... Um, parang umaakit si phlegm. No? Whereas yesterday, it was just... This is the year. It seems na itong si Omicron BA5, the concentration, seems to be here and a little bit here. Whereas I guess the unang variants was more going down uh, the chest areas, the lungs and all that. I 
think I, I'm not a doctor. I'm just assuming. That's why it was more dangerous before. And um, so I'm on my second day of medication. Now, just for... Okay, update lang sa mga nararamdaman ko. Um, generally, I feel a little better, I think, as compared to yesterday. Wala na yung joint pains. Uh, I mean, paminsan-minsan na lang. Yun nga, I have more of the sniffles now. Now, yung cough, hindi siya frequent. But when I do, ang sakit. Um, it's like your whole body is trying to expel the phlegm. And since it's very dry, hindi mo magawa. So it's like you're belching. It's sa tindi ng, ng pag-cough ko, yung parang nagkaka-abs na ako <laughs> sa kaka-cough. I'm glad it's not often. No? So I guess it's just the body reacting and wanting to expel the phlegm. Parang ganun yung character nito, COVID na to. I am assuming it's Omicron BA5 because it seems that parang siya yung prevalent variant all over the world and in the Philippines. Now, I just for I know interested uh, for feed my curiosity. Nagswab ako kagabi. Alam ko naman positive pa rin ako. But the difference is when you swab yourself. Uh, in the talamang ang, ang kapal na nung line. So, super super positive ka talaga. As compared to when I first turned out. Second line is a bit faint. Just like here, dun sa abot. It's faint. But now, it's really more defined and really thick. So, I guess um, there will be no change. I'm still in isolation, obviously. And we'll be here for five days. So, I will probably test um, again day after tomorrow see if nag-negative na kasi sabi nila after 3 days may mga cases na gano'n na after 3-4 days nag-negative na so let's continue to pray for each other um, maybe we should pray again today Lord God thank you for this day that you woke me up and I pray also for my brothers and sisters who are going through the same ordeal Father uh, I ask for your healing powers by the blood of your son Jesus Christ heal us dear Lord of this COVID and we continue to pray for those who are in the hospitals who have worse cases of COVID and of course worse cases of their illnesses may we learn to grow you more each day even as we experience this illness in our bodies we praise you, we love you, we teach you name. Amen alright, that's it for now Hi guys, day three today. So today is um, August 16, I believe. Um, if you look at me, I think I look a little better today. Well, sa bagay na ligo na ako, so I had a bath, um, and uh, it's almost lunchtime, so hindi ba ako makain? Uh, good news, I feel stronger today. No, mas actually ako sa deck kanina. I had some sun. Kaya medyo mamula-mula ako ng konti. So I have some color now. Um, I feel like the cuff is... Well, yung plema is more loose. I don't know if that's a sign that I'm getting there. <laughs> but, um, binabantayan ko lang talaga yung symptoms ko. Which I feel like it's getting better. Um, I'm still positive, obviously. I, I'm kind of expecting that siguro after five days, I should be negative already. But... I think the key is really to watch your symptoms. Um, as that's what I'm learning and what, I'm, what I've been learning from all the readings. And from my friends and from what I read as uh, mga posts. Uh, thank you guys for all the prayers, the well uh, wishes. It's really very, very encouraging. It's a beautiful day to me. Anyway, um, you might want to ask what I have been taking. I've been taking Molopiravir, that's um, 800 uh, milligrams twice a day. Uh, this is my third day on Citromax, which is an antibiotic. Yeah, my doctor also put me on Medrol, which is a steroid. 
I guess that's to avoid any inflammation. Sa ubo ko, I think it's mucosolvan, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, no, no, it's it's Flumicil. Yeah, so para mag, ano yung lema ko. Generally, I feel really good. Actually, uh, nag ano pa nga ako. Fix my bed today. Our bed, I should say. That's Regina and mine. Um, so, in ice cream bed, um, I had strength to do it. Of course, hinay hinay lang. Ayoko naman biglay. But generally, I feel strong. So, still a little blocked and a little ma malat. So, you can tell there's a uh, phlegm. But you can tell, I can tell that there's a remarkable improvement. So, again, for those who are with me in this and those who are going through this illness, let's pray. Lord God, uh, pray on this day that um, you continue to heal those who are sick. And uh, most especially those who are in isolation. Keep them company, dear Lord, through the Holy Spirit that... They, their minds uh, may not wonder many times this is the enemy you know anxiety and all of that let us learn to keep trusting you more uh, during this time of isolation and, and for those who um, are feeling sick dear lord please guide them uh, to the right doctor and uh, Make them heal properly, dear Lord, through the Holy Spirit, by the wounds of your Son, Jesus Christ. Praise you, we love you. In your name we pray. Alright? Um, I'm excited to eat. One thing that I noticed, yung, so far, no, for since I got sick, I never had fever. Yung pang amoy ko, hindi naman talaga na wala. I mean, I'm a bit stuffed pa rin, but nothing major. Nakakaamoy pa rin ako. So, I'm hoping this continues. I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse. Um, but but from the looks of it, I think I'm I'm about to turn a corner with this COVID thing. So, I'll keep updating you. Hey guys! Uh, fourth day. August 17? 17, ba? 18. I think it's 18th. August 18th. <clears throat> okay. So you can tell, mas malat pa ako ngayon. Um, I think because the, the phlegm has loosened talaga, it's really, really, really making my voice um, malat. Which is irritating. Because gusto ko gusto ko ng kumanda, but ganun talaga. However, I feel strong. Um, eh, parang wala akong sakit, to be honest. Ito lang. It's just this. Uh, this malat. So, inuubo ko siya. It's not a, it's not a productive cough where I have to cough all the time, but sinusubukan niya ilabas na. So, so, I'm assuming remnants na lang ito ng phlegm or, or, or because positive pa kasi ako, so the virus is still there, so mucus is just really developing to protect me. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. That's my assumption. So, tomorrow will be my fifth day. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe medyo mag-subside ng konti itong uh, pagkamalat ko. But otherwise, I feel okay. Develop a bit of a, a setback. I don't think it's a bit, but it's a setback. Kasi yung yaya namin na positive na rin. And there's no other person who's positive here except me. And she's been wearing a mask the whole time. She's the one who sometimes brings food here and, and, and cleans my clothes and and has a mask and, and gloves, so I. Maintindihan, para siya nahawa. So today is our first day uh, of being positive. Hiniwalay na namin siya kay Nate actually yesterday pa when she started complaining. Pero yesterday negative pa siya, so. Um, I've been hearing that ganito daw yung nature nitong variant na to. Talagang kakalampagin yung bumbong bahay. Halos lahat mahawa, so praying that doesn't happen and ends with my aya. Of course, because we're worried about Nate. So Nate and Regina are now together in, in that room. As always, let's pray. Father God, uh, seek protection for this house, for those who live here and work here, especially my 
wife and my son. We ask for your continued um, grace and, and your healing powers, dear Lord, to the Holy Spirit. As I am getting better, but I know that you're just wanting me to keep sticking to you and just trusting you that you are in charge and we do trust you dear lord but i lift up to you in prayer my yaya our yaya dina that she goes through this covid uh unscathed and will be healthy in a matter of few uh, days Father, i lift up to you my brothers and sisters sisters who are also listening right now even if they're not sick with covid but if they are afflicted with depression anxiety or anything like that dear lord be the one to lift their spirits up with your joy and your love. Just remind them that you're holding them all the time. I pray you we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hey, guys. August 19th today. 19th. <laughs> August 19th today. Fifth day uh, of isolation. In isolation. Still positive. But I've been advised not to swab anymore because talaga daw minsan lalabas positive. So what's important rather is that I really isolate for seven days. That's what I've been told. But just to be sure and just the same, I intend to maybe take one more day, one more day or two, um, just to really shed all the virus. Mahirap na kasi may patay. You might be asking, ano bang ginagawa ko wala in isolation here in the room? Well, I've been playing bass. Just learning play to play bass uh, from YouTube. Ay, kasi ako masyado ma-movies eh. Hindi ako nanonood ng mga Netflix. Kanya. I watched one yesterday, Unhinged. And I don't think it was a great idea. It was too scary. Ito talaga si Vong, the suggestion na yun. It was a good movie, but... And I've been watching all the YouTube... Um, golf games, especially the Tiger Wood ones. I watched the HBO of um, documentary on, on Tiger Woods, which was uh, really sad, but um, I'm, at least in the end, he was redeemed. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, well, by God's grace, I'll be out of the woods by in two days. Ah, a crazy, 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 crazy time. But then again, yeah. We make our plans, but God has better plans for us, so I, I, I am so sure He just wanted me to really take stock of what's important. So I believe I've learned. So thank you, Lord. Just a short prayer. Thank you, Lord, for healing me bit by bit. I'm not 100% yet, but thank you, Lord, for um, taking care of me all the time and my family. I continue to pray for my wife and my son and everybody else who's here. Um, and Dina, who just got COVID, um, I pray that you heal her. Pray for my brothers and sisters who are watching right now, uh, that they um, are well. And if there's anything that they are going through, whether it is an illness or um, problems in the family or financial problems, though, dear Lord, you be their, their guide that you will be providing for them all the time. We praise you, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So today is Sunday, 21st of August. And it's my seventh day oh, look, um, of isolation. And I feel great. Um, I was told Huwag na mag-test kasi lalabas din naman kahit minsan magpa-positive pa rin. Pero remnants na lang yan. So, I intend to maybe wear a mask pa rin tomorrow and Tuesday just to get my full strength back. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna go back to work. All in all, this journey has been a crazy one. <laughs> Uh, like everything else, like all the cases that I've heard, it's it's mild. But I would say mine was a bit moderate because the cough was it was unbearable, to say the least. Um, I never had a fever, not, never really had a, a, a headache, just joint pains. And uh, the first, I guess, the first three, 
four days were the most difficult. But after that, it's smooth sailing. All I can say is that I thank the Lord that I have been healed and that I can continue to be strong. And um, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy COVID year. Now I know what it feels like. So again, I just want to end this session with a prayer. Lord God, I just want to thank you for healing me. And I pray for those who are still fighting with this disease at this moment. That you heal them as they are watching this right now. Um, to the Holy Spirit, give them the comfort knowing that you are healing them already as we speak. And I thank you, dear Lord, for this time that I spent with you. Reading more um, about you and knowing more about you intimately. I know that this time that I had with you during COVID was another time for you to tell me that you're watching over me and watching over my family. I love you, Lord. Thank you for everything. I praise you. In your name I pray. That's God's answer. God bless everybody.